Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 22nd, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays have a day off. Have the day off, I guess you'd say. <laughs> Take a pick. Alright, let's, uh, no, but obviously the Montreal Expos are playing as well, so they're hosting the Pittsburgh Pirates, so let's simulate the rest of the games for the day. Another quiet day in the MLB. Got a 5-1 victory for the Indians over the Royals, 6-1 for the Athletics over the Rangers, and a couple of uh, active games with the Yankees over the Red Sox, 5-3, and the Giants over the Rockies, 4-3, and then in the M as well. Uh, Mets over the Phillies, 1-0, and Padres over the Dodgers, 2-0. Yeah. All right, Pittsburgh Pirates at Montreal Expos. And I think... Pittsburgh has that pitcher that is leading in strikeouts in the National League, I think. Unless I'm mistaken, but anyways. Now better for the Pirates, the second baseman, number five. All right. Pitch speed to All-Star. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Bullpen, we've got Pedro Martinez charged up and ready to go. And we've got Cordova. Oh, there's Schmidt down there. <laughs> oh, even Cordova, if I recall, is doing pretty decent as well. So this could be a could be a good matchup. All right, and Cordova is alrighty. Whoa. Oh, uh, who else saw that? <laughs> And in batting order, we have Mark Grudzelanek at shortstop, Mike Lansing at second base, F.P. Santangelo in center field, Henry Rodriguez at le in left field, David Segui at first base, Vladimir Guerrero at right field, Darren Fletcher behind the plate, Shane Andrews at third base, and of course, Pedro Martinez in the ninth batting position. As you can see, last time we had the uh, had Rondell White and Sherman Obando in play. This time, I'm uh, bringing in F.P. Santangelo and Vladimir Guerrero. So, there we go. Let's play ball. Alright. Pedro Martinez, the man. Alright. Let's go start off with a medium curve down and in. Uh, let's go with a slow curve up and in. And let's try let's try a fast change up on the outside part of the plate. Ooh, line drive right to the second baseman. Now batter for the pilot, the center fielder, number forty six. All right, let's go with a fast curve down and in. Line drive to the third baseman. Now batter for the Pirate, the left fielder, number 28. Uh, let's go with a medium change up over the plate. And a shallow left field, base hit. For the pirate, the first baby, number 36. Let's go with a slow fastball high in the strike zone. Runner's going. Foul ball. Alright, let's go with. Let's go with a fast curve on the outside part of the plate. And let's go with a medium curve down and in. Fly ball on the left center field, all the way to the wall. Rounding second, throwing home. One run scores, and that's a double. Next right. up for the pirate, the shortstop, number ten. Let's throw the heat up in the strike zone. Slow fastball down and in. Uh, 
Let's try a slow change up, up and away. Now that for the echo, the shortstop, number four. Mark Redzelanek, start things off for the Expos, all right. Okay, that wasn't the fastball. Ooh, in the center field, all the way to the wall. Rounding first, rounding second. Man, can he run? And he's in safe for third. Start off triple. Next double for the Expos, the second baseman, number... Three. Uh, still no fastball. That might have been it. <laughs> I think that might have been a slow one. <laughs> Ooh. Brown ball into right field. Oh no, and Grizzle doesn't want to move from third. Runners at the corners. Now that for the Expo, the center fielder, number seven. Now let's, let's send their both runners and bunt. Foul ball. Ah. The same thing. Down the third base line, one run scores. Runners at first Next and second. For the Expo, the left fielder. Number 40. In the shallow left center field, all the way to the wall. Running first, one run scores. That's a double for Henry Rodriguez. Now that for the Expo, the first baby, number 21. All right, a bunch. And both runners. Down ooh, ooh, that was close. <laughs> uh, run scores. Next runners up. at the corners. The, Expo, the right fielder, number twenty-seven. So runner to second. Bunt. And he's safe at home. Run scores. Runners at first and second. Now that for the Expo. The catcher, number 24. Darren Fletcher. Oh, that was good now reflexes. <laughs> for the Expo, the third baby, number 11. Ninety-nine mile an hour fastball. And, oh, in the shallow right field, the base hit, and base is loaded. Now that for the Expo, the pitcher, number 45. Ooh. Actually, I didn't check to see what his uh, batting numbers were like. I don't think they're much different than anybody else's, but any other pitcher. No, all right. Got a speed of four, though, I saw, though, so that's uh, some info. And, oh, ooh, base hit in the right field. One run scores, base is loaded still. Now that for the Expo, the shortstop. Number four. He popped, popped it up. up. He got it. Next up for the Expo, the second baseman. Number three. And ground ball is short. 
Oh, beats the throw at first. Run scores, bases loaded, still. Number seven. All right, FP Santangelo. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's send them. Once, uh, not this time. Now better for the pirate, the catcher, number eighteen. All right, let's go with a medium curve over the plate. With a slow change up down and in. Let's throw the heat up and away. Pop it up in it, popped it up in the shallow left field or center field. <laughs> wow, I didn't even get close on that one. For the pirate, the right fielder, number eleven. All right, let's go with a medium curve over the plate. <clears throat> me. Now that for the pirate, the third baseman, number sixteen. Let's go with the slow curve on the inside part of the plate. Ball throws the first three out. Next up for the Expo, the left fielder, number forty. It's a routine grounder. Next up, for the Expo, the first baseman, number 21. It's a routine grounder. Ooh, beats the throw at first, infield hit. Next up, for the Expo, the right fielder, number 27. And into second for a stolen base. Oh, didn't get back in time. Double play. The player won the batting hit title while having more than 100 strikeouts. George Brett. Oh, Roberto Clemente. I know uh, Babe Ruth was, uh, obviously we remember him for his ability to hit home runs, but he actually uh, struck out a lot too, apparently, so I definitely see why they put his name there. Slow curve, down and in, ball one. Let's go to a fast change up over the middle. And let's try a slow fastball up and away. Throw the heat down the middle. Now that for the pirate, the second baseman, number five. Medium fastball down the middle. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that for the pirate. The center fielder, number 46. Mm, let's go with the medium change up, up and away. Let's go with a slow fastball up and away. And 
Yeah, let's throw the heat up and in. Darren Fletcher. Next up, for the Expo, the third paper, number 11. Next up, for the Expo, the pitcher, number 45. All right, Pedro. Down the third base line into left field, all the way into the corner. Base hit. Ooh, is he going to get a double? Pedro Martinez into second with a double. Next double for the Expo, the shortstop, number four. All right. It's a routine grounder. Next up for the Pirate, the left fielder, number 28. Uh, let's go with let's go with a slow change up, up and in. Let's go with a slow curve down and away. Whoa! <laughs> It's expecting more the way that came off the bat. <laughs> Next up for the pirate, the first baby, number thirty six. Hmm. Let's throw the heat down and in. It's a routine grounder. Now that for the pirate, the short stop, number ten. And let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. Ground ball. Oh! Fumbled by Shane Andrews in the left field. Base hit. Well, reached on there, I guess. For the Pirate, the catcher, number 18. All right, let's go with a medium fastball. The outside part of the plate. Ground ball up the middle. Out at first. Next up, for the Expo, the second baseman, number three. Out. Now that is, for the Expo, the center fielder, number seven. Ooh. Now that for the Expo, the left fielder, number 40. I used to pitch, so <laughs> I know how hard those balls can come back at the pitcher. <laughs> uh, all right, Henry Rodriguez. A deep drive. And it's gone. Now that for the Expo, the first baseman, number 21. Home run number 19 for Henry Rodriguez, 417 feet. David Zingy. Ooh. Now that for the Pirate, the right fielder, number 11. Go with a slow fastball down the middle. Oh, the medium fastball down and in. And let's go with a fast change up down and away. Now 
at that end. For the Pirates, the third paper, number 16. All right, let's go with a fast curve on the outside part of the plate. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball down the middle. It's a routine grounder. Out. Next up, for the Pirates, the pitcher, number 67. Let's go with a slow fastball on the inside part of the plate. Slow fastball down and in. Let's try a fast curve down and away. The pitcher for the pirate, number 67. Vladimir Guerrero against Wagner. Hmm. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that for the Expo, the catcher, number twenty four. Line drive in the left center field, all the way to the wall, base hit, and I'll go back to first. <coughs> Pardon me. Next up, for the Expo, the third baseman, number 11. Golfs it in the right field. Base hit. <coughs> Pardon me. Next up. Runners on first and second. The pitcher, number 45. All right, Pedro Martinez. So a double and ooh, infield hit. Now that for the Expo, the shortstop, number four. <coughs> Alright, let's go with a fast curve over the plate. In the right field, base hits. Next up, for the Pirate, the center fielder, number 46. Medium fastball. Right back to the pitcher. Hey, not in time to get the one get the runner at first. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next up for the pirate, the left fielder, number twenty eight. Alright, let's go with a medium change up over the plate. And the right center field. All the way to the wall. Oh boy, that's gonna score a run. <laughs> and a double. Now that for the pirate, the first baseman, number 
30. Yeah, cool. Let's go the fast curve. A slow curve down and away. Let's try a medium fastball down the middle. Ground ball in the right field. Base hit. Runners at the corners. Now batting for the Pirate, the shortstop, number 10. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. A routine ground break. Uh, fumbled by Shane Andrews. Now okay. For the pilot, <laughs> the catcher, number 18. I was afraid that the game, the, the player locked up on me again there, but all right, the game took care of it for me. Slow curve. Well, a slow change up down and away. And let's see if we can get the heat by him up and in. Shallow center field for the third out. Now that is for the expo, the second baseman, number three. Shane Andrews has had two errors this game, but his fielding is maxed out. <laughs> oh boy, just having a bad day, I guess. I'm actually trying to get some, uh, trying some power swings with some of these players that have like a, a five on their hitting. It's not their strong area, but it's still a five. It's pretty decent. Number seven, FB Santangelo. Has he not gotten a hit yet? All right. Uh, let's see if we can fix that for him. Let's try to get on base. One out. Let's try to bunt. Down the first base line. Run, 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 run. Oh, almost. For the expo, the left fielder, number 40. Ooh, line drive in the left field. Left center field. <coughs> Pardon me. And sliding into second. There's a double for Henry Rodriguez. For the expo, the first baseman, number 21. David Ski. And even David Zagi, he's got a 6 in his power, even though he's got an 8 and a 7 for contact and normal. And of course, there is the, the, the variable of the home run power stat. But, uh, yeah. Even if it isn't a home run, it's a strong, a good chance that it could just end up being a base hit at least. For the Pirate, the right fielder. Number 11. Pedro, doing good? Alright, keep going. Let's go a fa slow fastball down the middle. And let's go the medium curve down and in. And let's go the fast change up up and away. For the Pirate, the third baseman, number 16. Medium fastball. It's with a fast curve. Out. And he flies out to the outfield. Now batting for the Pirate, the pitcher, number 43. All right, let's go with a slow curve up and away. Let's go with a slow curve up and in. And 
Yeah, let's try throwing the heat down in a way. Round ball are short. Out at first. Next up, for the Expo, the right fielder, number 27. <clears throat> Pardon me. Out. And he flies out to the outfield. Now that is for the Expo, the catcher, number 24. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that is for the Expo. The third baseman, number 11. A routine fly to the outfield. He's out of there! Next up, for the Pirates, the second baseman, number 5. Let's go to a slow fastball down the middle. With a slow curve, down and away. Pulls it down the right field line, <laughs> into the corner. Man, that was a rocket. <laughs> and get him at second. <laughs> Next job for the Pirates. The center fielder, number 46. Yeah, hang on. Let's take a look at their pitching situation here. Pedro Martinez has got a bit left, so we got no, so the relievers are uh, still do, doing all right. It'd be nice if they gave their closers a break. Well, I guess that's what I'm here for. Uh, does Dahl have the uh, better stamina? Yeah. I'll warm up Dahl just just in case. I may end up giving Pedro the entire game. Let's go with a slow curve down the middle. Alright, let's go with a medium curve. The inside part of the plate. And let's try a slow curve down and away. In the left field! Ooh! Diving attempt by Shane Andrews. Next up for the Pirates, the left fielder, number 28. Let's go with a fast curve on the inside part of the plate. With a slow curve down and away. Ground ball. A second, back to first. Oh, not in time. Now batting for the Pirates, the first baseman, number 36. Mm, let's go with a fast curve over the plate. With a slow change up, down and away. A routine fly to the outfield. He's out of there! Next up. For the Expo, the pitcher, number 45. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Now that for the Expo, the shortstop, number 4. It's a routine grounder. Ooh, infield hit. Now that is for the Expo, the second baseman, number three. And, oh! Good catch, good catch. Now that is for the Pirates, the shortstop, number ten. Alright, he's got some left. Doll's probably ready. Yeah, alright. 
Slow fastball down the middle. Let's go with a medium changeup down the middle. And let's try throwing the heat up and away. Now batting for the pirate, the catcher. Number 18. Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. He popped it up. Out. Now bad end for the pirate. The right fielder. Number 11. And let's go with a fast curve over the plate. Go with a slow curve on the inside part of the plate. Throw them all back to the pitcher. Throws the first to win the game. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. For the Pittsburgh Pirates, two runs and eight hits, zero errors. RBIs by Martin and Johnson. Womack went two for four. Allen's work. Went two. Allen's worth went two. One for four. Kirby. Martin went three for four, and Johnson went two for four. Those were the hits. All right, for pitching, Cordova went four innings, struck out zero, walked zero, one home run, seven earned runs given up. Wagner, four innings pitched, two strikeouts, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Cordova gets the loss. For the Montreal Expos, seven runs on 13 hits, two errors. Stolen base for David Segui, home run for Henry Rodriguez, two RBIs on the day. Rodriguez went three for four. Andrews and Martinez went two for four. Grudzelenic and Lansing went two and five, two for five. <clears throat> FP Santangelo and Vladimir Guerrero were the only ones that did not record hits. That seems kind of odd to me for some reason. They didn't make any errors. But they were both part of a run. I don't think they walked anybody. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, I wonder if infield hits count as... Uh... Hmm. Well, <laughs> looks like the game might be doing something funny there, but uh, maybe somebody can, that's more familiar with uh, how the uh, the rules work in the MLB. Let me know how that can happen, or what causes that maybe, if there's anything in the uh, the rules that does that. Anyways, pitching, Pedro Martinez, nine innings pitch, five strikeouts, zero walks, zero home runs, two earned runs given up. Martinez gets the win. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. For the American League, Le American League League leaders. <laughs> All right. Shouldn't be too much change here since uh, when there are only like two or three games in the American League going on. Ooh, Mark McGuire's on top of the RBI is 54 now. Because, yeah, the Athletics were playing, weren't they? <coughs> Pardon me. For pitching. Got a three-way tie for the for saves in the American League. We got Crabtree, Maselli, and Taylor. 
seven apiece. And 84 strikeouts for Facero, 82 for Johnson, and 73 for Edit or for Avery and Pettit. <laughs> oh man, that was a that was a yeah. Avery and Pettit together makes edit. <laughs> All right. Not really, but that's what how it came out of my mouth anyway. <laughs> For the National League, all right. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, leading with wins, 2.219 ERA. Where's, uh, whoops. Was Schmidt and Cordova. Or Cordova and, uh, Martinez. Oh, there's Wagner. Four wins, 1.097 ERA. Pedro Martinez, three wins, 2.258 ERA. And Cordova, two wins, 1.989 ERA. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ten saves for Shaw. Yeah, Cordova is one of the strikeout leaders. Third place behind Schmidt and Hampton. 85 on the season. Season. Uh, we got Greg Maddox behind him. Pedro Martinez with 68 strikeouts. Wagner has 32. All right. Twelve quality starts for Shurik. Wow. How many games has he played? Of games hasn't given up a run in the first inning yet. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. For the National League in batting. Yeah, Barry Bonds still at the top, 395. With Grace and Martin, 335 and 334, respectively. And yeah, Martin's with Pittsburgh. I thought I recognized that name. Bonds, Henry Rodriguez, Jeff Bagwell leading in slugging percentage. Don't know how much I trust that on base percentage anymore after the, uh, well, until I uh, know for sure whether the game messed up or not, or if the uh, hit count in the uh, in today's game with the for the Expos was off. Thirty-one doubles for Blouser. <laughs> uh, two for one special. Start calling up. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, so I was gonna check to see if he actually was like doubling up on a pe on second place in terms of doubles. No, not quite. I wonder if Martinez shows up here. Wait, no, it wasn't Martinez. It was. Uh, who had the uh, the triple? Was it Grid Zelenic? Yeah, I think it was. It might have been. Hmm. 
19 home runs for Henry Rodriguez, 18 for Barry Bonds, 16 apiece for Sammy Sosa, and I'm guessing Larry Walker. 43 RBIs for Rodriguez, 36 for Gant, 33 for Bichette and Walker. Alright, and there's Ellensworth. 76 strikeouts on the season. Did he get a hit? I can't remember. Oh well. At the end of May 22, 1997, in the American League West, Oakland leading 25 wins, 22 losses. Seattle 24 and 22. Texas 21 and 25. Anaheim 15 and 30. Central Division: Cleveland Indians 30 wins, 60 losses. Kansas City Royals 25 and 20. Chicago 20 and 24. Minnesota 19 and 27. And Milwaukee 17 and 27. East Division, Toronto, 40 wins, 5 losses. Baltimore, 30 wins, 17 losses. Detroit, 19 and 26. New York, 18 and 28. And Boston, 16 and 30. National League West, Colorado, 28 and 18. San Diego, 24 and 21. San Francisco, 18 and 27. Los Angeles, 15 and 30. Central, St. Louis Cardinals, 30 wins, 15 losses. Cincinnati, 25 and 21. Chicago, 21 and 24. Houston, 20 and 26. And Pittsburgh, 20 and 27. And the East, Atlanta, 30 wins, 16 losses. Montreal, 29 and 16. New York, 25 and 21. Florida, 17 and 27. And Philadelphia, 17 and 30. Next time on May 23rd, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays should be back in action. At home uh, versus the Anaheim Angels. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.